Hi everyone. So I know that the NEET PG exam has been postponed, and now you know a few days have passed, and we have kind of you know absorbed the acute impact of a delay. Now today I am going to tell you something which has worked for me in my life, and which is something that I have learned in life. Whenever we have a situation which is not going according to our you know plan, you had planned for a March NEET PG. I am sure you have done it. Yeah. But whenever the things don't go according to your plan, and this would happen multiple times in your life, that things will not go according to your plan. Okay, then can we convert the problem into an opportunity? I'll help you. Now, suppose you were giving a March NEET PG exam. You probably after the NEET PG exam, you would have been so fatigued out that you would have thought, "Ke chutti karte," and you may not have thought of giving the May INI set exam. Now you have a May INI set exam before before the NEET PG, and yeah. anyhow you have to study for the exam. Why not make it an opportunity to get into the INI set? You know, I why not that, make yeah. it an opportunity to get into the Central Institute? This is the first thing I want. I to will say. just want to add here. You know, it is also like one landmark for us. You know, because when the journey is a little longer, now we have six, seven months for NEET PG, and a lot of students tend to lose track when suddenly the duration increases. They don't know what to do. They feel that there is a lot of time. Hai. right so it is always better to have some timely landmarks which keep a check on our preparation right so any which ways we must everyone should give ini ct don't rule your out yourself out that you were not ready for it or you don't think you are up to mark for the exam right i think don't rule yourself out think of it as an opportunity as dr sumer said think of it as a landmark which will keep a check on your preparation think of it as a mid level assessment also which will tell you what are your strengths and your weaknesses right and now if you look at the timelines now you will have a exam in may and a exam in july so right. these are the two targets that you should keep in your mind and if i was in your place i would recalibrate my preparation that i was doing so far so far you were targeting mainly revision because you were looking at a march exam yeah. and obviously in january february you would revise because the exam was in early march now you're looking at the exam which is going to happen in july you have to recalibrate it yeah. many students are sending me messages and saying sir is now only doing pyq and dvt enough it is not enough now i'll right. tell you why i'll tell you why you might say sir everything comes from these material only then why it is not enough it is not enough because we are dealing with a competitive exam and others will be studying and if you are only revising how will you make up so you, this is the time to work on your weaknesses by using the resource like back to basics back to basics is an excellent resource for you right now where you have dedicated videos of the teachers where they have covered everything and trust me dams resources still remain concise even yeah. if you go to our extensive back to basics it will be far more concise than any of the resources that you would have thought of so far but it will help you to cover those weaknesses especially you know i want to add again a good assessment tool is your last gt marks or number of correct questions and similarly the CBT, which is happening day after tomorrow, will be a very good assessment tool for your strategy forward. See, we are getting a lot of questions uh, from students. Ki ab main kya karu? What should be my way forward? And if you really don't understand what should be your way forward, you need a self-assessment tool. And nothing better than giving a simulated exam. So please give the CBT. We will see your number of correct questions in the CBT. If you are falling less than one twenty. you definitely need to work on your content right uh, anyone if you are less than 100 then even more important so you need to look at your number of correct questions if it is less than 120 your content definitely needs to be built up only mcqs would not really help in that purpose if the number of questions are uh, which are correct are more than 120 in the cbt which is going to be the neat pattern cbt then we know that okay probably there are certain areas where i am weak certain areas i am okay and i lack probably the mcq skill or application of concepts and then you can see if you have if you think you have attended the classes live you are good with then you know you can do a program like tnd right tnd will help you with both the uh, exams the upcoming ini ct the upcoming uh, neat pg and a tnd me kya hota hai you will have well defined targets ki after one week this is what you're going to be tested for so you know you're not haphazard now now you have a target for which you have to study so you will study your back to basic videos or notes we also have notes with back to basics right plus you will start solving the dqb goat which will tell you how to apply those notes 
राइट एंड प्लस यू विल हैव एक्सेस टू योर ओल्डर टेस्ट पेपर्स योर क्लास टेस्ट पेपर्स सो उस वन वीक में वी विल डू दीज थिंग्स एंड देन वी गिव दी टेस्ट so this is how you judge on what you need and you can recalibrate and restart a lot of students have asked me sir routine tnd karu ke fast track tnd karu i am sure you know you know it by now that fast track tnd is intended when you have 3 months period left so why, that is why we start fast track tnd 3 months before yeah, the neat pg exam December. this is the time where you have 7 months this is the time to go for routine tnd i have no doubt in my mind that routine tnd with more extensive discussions yes. more questions more question papers Not, will be the yes, game changer yes. rather than going for because fast track tnd because you know it covers this the required width for neat pg which is the basic difference between neat and ini set right ini set mein maybe the width is a little less but then they go into the depth of that particular topic which means whether we are preparing for ini set or neat we have to look at the bigger target so we need to cover the width and in certain topics we may need to go into the depth as well and that is why we said anyone who you know uh, maybe you you think no i have to give ini ct uh, only who thinks of neat pg even you know if you are targeting both the exams you should take the neat pg tnd because it will ensure that you get the coverage that you desire or you need for the two exams right and also the biggest risk in a delayed exam is that your momentum break uh, and you start thinking abhi to bahut time hai ye cbt chhodta hu yaar I don't want you to do it. That is why we are not delaying our CBTs. We want you to In keep fact, the momentum alive. In fact, they are increasing the number of tests. Think for you. of it that yeah. this CBT is happening as if the schedule is of the past. Then, then only you will be able to keep the momentum going. नहीं तो वो जैसे हमने एक pump करके एक bubble बनाया हो तो सारा fizzle out हो जाता है और दो तीन महीने खराब हो जाते हैं and you lose the advantage of the delay. To make sure that you use the advantage, you need to continue. working on at the same potential using the cbts don't miss out on cbts also if you are starting now it is something that we want to address so so far we have addressed people who has already started and you are handling the delay but what if you are starting now you were not thinking of neat pg and you were thinking of a next year's neat pg why not target this year's neat pg it's an opportunity for you this is the right time and you have and good time 6 7 months is, is the optimum time. time even re- required even by the beginners somebody who has not been preparing earlier and now decides okay there is an opportunity coming up why not go go in for it right so 6 se 7 mahine ek acha time hai it is an adequate time for anyone who is even starting from scratch right and but for then, the students who started who is just starting the program that we would recommend at dams is the ultimate life This course now is running in a very beautiful pattern. Everyday Today life only, classes. Today only I got a student's message who says that it is revolutionary. Actually, you if you have not experienced a live class on the eMedicos app so far, you will find it revolutionary. It is like it's a thousand x above any recorded lecture because it's a two-way interactive lecture. The right. energy is different. The doubt solving is different, and we are doing it on a OD dose. Yeah, Every that's the key thing. Every day 5 p.m. to 7:30 break. Then. Two hour lecture and over. You know the, the, what happens is it gives you a discipline which is automatic, true. doubt solving automatic, concept building automatic, and this year we are using a six monthly cycle. So you know if you join the ultimate life course, it will the course will finish before. See, there is another reason why I want to add on to what Doctor Sumira said. You know when suddenly the exams get delayed or when you are starting from scratch. you don't need the accelerator button right now right which means you don't need to study 16 hours 12 hours what you need more right now is consistency maybe shorter durations maybe 5 hours 6 hours every day but every day right even if it is 4 to 5 hours it is good enough so abhi momentum banana hai abhi acceleration nahi chahiye nahi to burn out ho jayega already bahut sare bachon ka burn out ho raha tha because they were looking for an exam in march So now you have to change a lot of things. Your mental setup, your strategy, your timelines, your targets, सब को बदलना है. तो consistency बेटा जी ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है. अभी हम ये ना सोचे कि हमें 12 घंटे पढ़ना है, 16 घंटे पढ़ना है. ये भी ना सोचे कि एक महीना पढ़ना ही नहीं है. Both extremes are, you know, going to be detrimental for our preparation. और ना एक resource that I want to point out, and I am sure it could be a game changer if you are not using it so far. That is the goat. Dams Question Bank Goat Edition. Every question comes with a small clipet of video discussion by the faculty member. I believe that the future aspirants will describe it as revolutionary, because you know they would have experienced it. If you have not experienced it so far, I would strongly recommend that it might help you, because 
I am a person whose entire life I have devoted to MCQ exams. And I feel that the only problem with MCQ exams is many people don't understand how to approach it. And many people don't know that every question opens with a single key. And they are reading too much. They don't know what is the key. With the video snippet attached, I believe it would be the key. And it will tell you, okay, this is how the teachers are approaching this particular question. And your MCQ skill can improve hundredfold if you promise to do maybe 50 or 100 questions from DQB every single day with the video solution. It would take very little time, but the impact and the outcome will be disproportionately high. And the beauty is that DQB goes as uh, it itself has everything, which means you have PYQ sections also there and you have subject wise sections also there. So when you begin, start with subject wise and topic wise sections. So, you know, you have small number of questions, 25 questions, a topic, hai, unke videos dekhe, you know what you did wrong. Half of the times you just want to know, okay, I know this topic of PCOS, but why my option B is wrong? Now, if you this option, ke liye phir se pura PCOS hai, that's a futile way of reading it because you're more likely to do the same mistake again. So, we only need to know I know the topic, but I still don't know why B is correct and D is incorrect. Right? So, that's why. Start with topic-wise, start with subject-wise, then go to PYQ sections. There are clinical vignette sections, there are image-based sections, and everything comes with video discussions, which are short, very doable videos. And that's why we call it as the GOAT edition, right? Now what I'll do is I'll try to summarize the damn subscriptions for you so that you understand and match the correct course for you because it's no, you know, accumulating courses will not help you. Finding the right course for the right match. person makes the bigger impact. Yeah. So I am dividing the students into two types. Ones who are starting right now and ones who have already started, were on the track, now want to maintain the momentum. If you are starting right now, the course plan that we will recommend to you is the ultimate life. Start attending live classes, it will automatically build your momentum and your concepts. In Ultimate Life course, you get back to basics included. So the recorded lectures are already there for you. If you want to accelerate at any time, you get the Question Bank Goat Edition, you get the test series with video solutions, and you get access to the DVT and the revision material like INIPYT. This is for the people who are starting now. Right. People who have already started, your approach will be slightly different because you were in the revision phase. For you, the course that we recommend is the test and discussion. And I'm sure you may or may not be aware of it, but with our neat PG TND, we give back to basics. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. So you, you get back, back to, to basics. basics with it. You have TND and you can use the test, long discussions. Discussions are live. You are interacting with the teacher all the time so that you are building on concepts. You are working on your weaknesses. You get the DQB GOAT edition, you get back to basics. So any subject you are scoring less, you can go to the, go back to the to videos, basics, yeah. start giving grand test. Before the INICT, revise INI PYT, which is also which included. Is included in the course. Yeah. And before NEET PG, revise DBT. I hope this gives you the timeline that you need. And uh, I think this is what, uh, you know, we sat down and we thought, what would we do if, you know, we are using DAMS resources and we want to prepare for the upcoming exams, how to utilize them in the best way. So that my energy gets channelized, so that my strategy gets revised, I stay on track and I have consistency, which is what I said is going to be the most important thing, especially until the INI set exams. Because these, this is the first three months after the delay is where, you know, you tend to lose track. Uske baat to sabko realization ho jata hai ki achha aaraya wapas se exam, right? But if you lose track in the first three months. Don't lose momentum. Yeah, then and then it gets too scattered. Aap padhai to kar rahe ho. I'm not saying ki aap padhai nahi karoge. But wo bhoat haphazard hota hai. Matlab, aap kabhi kuch padh rahe ho, kabhi kuch padh rahe ho. Koi assessment nahi hai ki mujhe kitna aara hai, kitna nahi aara hai. It's more of like, you know, uh, self-satisfaction ki okay, I studied for eight hours today. But it's all haphazard. So even I would say smart study is way more important than slogging. Right? So, uh, as of now, don't get burnt out. That is the most important message. Uh, Rechannelize your energy. Think what you need. And then, you know, start with small hours. Gradually increase the number of hours. Keep the momentum going. Okay? And finally, from my side, I am, you know, as your elder brother or as someone that you may look up to at this scenario, I have seen multiple ups and downs in my life. And only thing that has worked for me is Number one, I race to acceptance. Most people, they live in a denial of the actual situation that they are facing. So I race to acceptance. I race to understand that there is a delay in the exam and these are the number of days which have increased. Race to acceptance. Many people, they waste a lot of time 
you know, lamenting and crying on social media and every time, time wasting time, I would say race to acceptance, save time. Number two. Number two is I look at everything as a God sent opportunity. So it's a God sent opportunity. Let us find out is it happening for my own good? Can I do something bigger out of it? Can I convert it into an opportunity for INICT? Number three, I always look at a strategy. I always look up to my mentors to find out what strategy should I form at this stage. If I'm starting now, go with a live class, ultimate live class. Taking too much time, will we will be wasting that time. If you are already started, you want to maintain the momentum, you are in the maintenance dose phase, go for the test and discussion. And we need to move fast. And the fourth thing, fourth thing is the mindset. Like Dr. Deepi said, only problem happens with a delayed exam is if you let your momentum go. If you, you know, yeah. you take it too easy. That is the only problem. Otherwise, it's an advantage. That's the only problem is that you had already built your momentum. Now, if you let it go, it's not the right thing. And what I would say is for people like me, so if I am, uh, you know, like Dr. Sameer said, how he would handle it because he's one side of the situation. I'm the other side. I, I get too overwhelmed by what's happening, right? And some of you might come into my category as well because, and what I have realized is when you get overwhelmed with the situation, number one, you're not able to give your best, although you want to, right? So uh, I, I, that is why uh, it is, I, what I would do is I would listen to Sameer because I know he would think more practically uh, he would put his brain into it. So that is where the role of mentors come and we'll keep com coming and guiding you on what we feel is most appropriate for you. So if you are overwhelmed, uh, we are there for you. Don't worry about it. It is a natural response for some of the people. But eventually, yes, it has to be acceptance so that we are able to put, uh, you know, once we get overwhelmed and we come out of denial, we, we then see what best can be done out of it. Right? So I think... Um, that's how every situation and has to be dealt with. Before we go, I want to answer another question that many students have asked, sir, agar ye aur delay ho gaya to, agar ye aur aage ho gaya to. So I am going to give you one line answer to it. Keep it mm -hmm. in mind, write down in your notebooks, keep it with you always. This is another one of the things that work for me always. We will cross the bridge when we reach there. Yeah. Imaginary fears are painful. You're living in an imaginary painful future. We will cross it when we reach there, okay? ठीक <laughs> 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 All the best, Bachas. Take care and please don't get overwhelmed. Take one day at a time. Go, go, you know, go gradual. But definitely come out of the phase of overwhelmingness and of denial. And then only we will be able to channelize our energy because you have potential for everything, beta. Whatever comes your way is because you can face it, right? All the best.